style yet. I'm still figuring it out, but I do have a dress on. I do have a bikini on. I know that all baby wants today, all my inner goddess wants today is to go find a veggie wrap, spend some time outside in the sunshine as we finally have some clear, clear-ish skies. The smoke has finally let up a little bit. So I would like to go have a veggie wrap, relax a little bit, and I need to get out of the house. And then later this afternoon when Mr. Manifesto gets home, I am working on our, hi baby queen. I am working on our bundles, birth labor bundles, as well as uh, baby crystal bundles. So we have some uh, crystal bundles for nurseries and then uh, we created some bundles for other mamas to bring to labor with them. So uh, getting those all organized, I wanna do a little sound healing on them as well as creating that affirmation uh, cards and details to go with it. So we're gonna have a very mystical day. Very, very good day. I'm gonna grab my book, grab my journal. Yeah, let's bring the journal, why not? This is what I'm currently reading. Love so far, very thick, very big. Grab my journal, because you never know when spirit is gonna come through with some messages. <sighs> is anyone else like a very particular pen person? I am a very particular pen person. Um, had a very good card pull this morning. I love this dress, I ordered a bunch of things off, not a bunch, like four, things off, what is it, she in, um, to review for you guys. And especially just like being pregnant, um, I don't have a lot of clothes that are too big right now. So luckily, I think I just got this in a large and then bought a bunch of dresses in large or XL or whatever. Um, Cause maternity clothes are just so expensive and I don't want to waste a bunch of money on them that Honestly, won't fit me. But this, I could tie tighter after I have baby and I can wear it again. So, we are going to go have a magical day. One of the things that I am focusing on the most right now and that like feels the best or even that my physical and energetic body are craving is literally <laughs> just kind of cutting out from the noise. Um, I am someone who I've always made decisions from my intuition, from my heart, two, two, two. And really always knowing that that was there and knowing that I could trust that. And it's so funny because over the past couple weeks and maybe even months, like my intuition is still there, but I'll find myself like, not even second guessing, but for example, I was like, okay, I'll go to the lake and I'll go to this little cafe and I'll go do this. But I was like, oh, but what if I was questioning it in the sense of like, well, what if I go here? What if I do this? And then I like create more chaos in my head and in my body of like, well, I don't know, just not having these very like direct pulls. Um, and that's something that I'm working on. So even with the like intuitive cleanse that I'm doing, it's cleansing yourself, not only your body, um, but really cleansing your mind and your spirit and, you know, cleansing yourself of excess energy because we can get so cl clouded and cluttered with other people's thoughts and other people's energy and other people's opinions that sometimes we lose track of our own voice. So that is something else that we're working on. But we are at the river now. I have my Samish. I'm so excited. I'm very excited because the new Rayleigh's place in town, Rayleigh, Rayleigh's One, um, I don't know, they're all about like organic and healthy food and so everything at the sandwich bar and the juice bar and the little pizza bar um, is organic, which is like kind of cool. So very excited about that. Got myself a veggie sandwich. I got these um, 
Boulder Canyon, one of my favorite brands, jalapeno chips. I've, of course, got some alkaline water. And we have our book. We have ourself. And I'm wearing a hat because um, I'm trying to protect my face as much as I can while pregnant because my hyperpigmentation has been like going a little crazy recently. Daisies blooming, sundress swaying in the breeze. I can't stop staring. You've put a spell on me, and I hope that you never decide to set me free. The way you're moving, it's got me moving my own feet. The greatest feeling that I could ever dare to dream. We have some prep underway. Mushrooms, zucchini, half the batch I already did, and getting some nice color. Yum. This lasagna that I'm making is not going to be gluten-free or dairy-free, but the one I'm making tomorrow is, and it's gonna be so good. So I'm making one that is gluten-free, dairy-free, just with like chickpea noodles, just in case baby doesn't respond well to my breast milk, just in case. Um, and then in this one also, I put some nutritional yeast, rosemary, roasted garlic, Salt, very simple. So we are just getting the veggies all cooked down and then we are going to start layering the lasagna. And lasagnas are so easy to not only make but then also put layers of veggies in them. Um, I am going to do one of the impossible meat packets because this is for Mr. Manifested also. And then we just have two jars very large jars of the Rouse sauce, as well as some organic ricotta. We'll use the Vital Farm eggs. Really, oh, what'd you hear, Brody? What'd you hear? Huh? Oh, um, so yes, we are getting to all the freezer prepping today. We have a huge tray of homemade mac and cheese prepped. We have one of my cauliflower macs prepped um, so I can have something a little bit lighter with my brown rice noodles. And we're going to do like a broccoli bake. I just wanna make sure that I have healthy things on hand also. As much as I love like really delicious pasta bakes, sometimes they're just too heavy on my stomach making lots of options i have some of my lactation cookies prepped we have some pumpkin healthy chocolate chip muffins that are going to be prepped uh smoothie bags of course and then a couple soups that i'm going to be doing that are also going to be plant focused of lots of good healing things in there so excited it's layering time i don't know the right way to layer a lasagna though. I do know sauce down. Sauce down. Cheese layer, veggie, yeah, noodle no, layer. Yeah, noodle layer. And mm -hmm. then cheese. But then I thought you'd do another layer of Well noodle. you can do another layer of sauce. No, noodle. I don't think there's any really as long as the noodles get plenty of moisture. Right. Are those the cook in the oven kind? Yeah. Yeah, they need plenty of moisture. So I don't think there's a wrong or a right way, hon. Are you rinse this off for me so I don't? Sure. Okay, just dive them in. Put them in the pool. Put them in, put them in. And then for the ricotta, I did whole milk ricotta, whole milk organic ricotta, two eggs, organic spinach, Garlic powder, Italian cheese. Because I'm with you, I don't want a dry mm -hmm. ass lasagna. 
I don't feel like we ate lasagna a lot growing up. I didn't make it a lot. Lisa didn't make it. There wasn't a really, I had mom's recipe, but mm -hmm. it was like 5,000 ingredients. Right. Who has time for that? And once you made it though, it was delicious. Divine. Absolutely Pretty. delicious. But it was an all day thing. Right, an all day affair. Mm-hmm. Well, what is that recipe that Elisa used to make? Chicken enchiladas or something? Yes. Like the one thing she made? Yes, the tortillas, the yeah. sauce, the red sauce. And then all the sauteed veggies. So, let me show them. Now we have the ricotta down. So we have a layer of sauce. We got a layer of noodles. Layer of ricotta. My pregnancy brain is the realest thing in the world. Let me tell you. I asked James the other day. I, I don't know what. I think there was a song on the radio or something by someone named James <laughs> and I looked at James and I was like do you do you know like who you were like named after because for example like Elisa never named me after anyone she just really liked the name or I think it might have been Marissa Tomei that she first heard the name and really liked it and then Catherine she wanted to use the family middle name right but so it just went together right but my point being is that I Full, in full seriousness, asked James who he was named after. And do you know who James is named after? Who? His dad. He's a junior. And I know this full heartedly. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I just, I died laughing. Oh, that okay. is too funny. So now we have some of the things down. And now I will just relocate you because this will be easier. This is hot. Okay. So we did the impossible meat and then a bunch of seasoning. Honestly, maybe I should have done a layer of noodles right then. Might have fucked that up. No, it's fine. You sure? Because no. it'll be wet. Ew. No, we're going to put a layer of noodles. I'm going to... Oh, sorry, Brody. Giving Brody anxiety. Sorry, Brody. Am I moving too much in the kitchen? <laughs> He's so Mom! Cool. Right. I'm trying to west. I'm here to support you. I never know what you're going to do. Right. Get in line. Okay. Boop. Boop. Wow. Phenomenal. Okay. Wow. Layering lasagna. I'm like, why do I want to Google this? I feel like I'm doing it wrong. I know that there's no quote unquote wrong way to do it, but. Remember when Grandma Kay made hers? She had to boil up all the noodles, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. This is so awesome. The oven ready ones. Mm -hmm. They just take a lot longer. So I'll have to look up like when you freeze it, how long that takes. I mean, uh, oh, but no, no, no. I take that back. Cancel clear all of that because this is one of those things that you're supposed to, what's that word? Defrost. Mm-hmm. Amazing, amazing. So now I'm gonna wait for it to cool. Honestly, I'll probably wait till James gets home and then have him double foil it. That way it's fully cooled before we put it in the freezer. Cause that was the number one tip that I kept reading. What's that? You have to let it fully, fully cool. Otherwise, it makes, I think, ice crystals in there and water. Oh, yeah. Nasty. Are we ready to do these up? Yeah. 
Yeah, but I was gonna debate, should I put cheese on the top now or wait till I put it? Oh, I, I guess put it in now, right? Or on top now? I don't think, um, I mean, cheese freezes okay. Right. Should be fine. Dishwasher. Define. Define. Uh, yes. yes. Okay. You want this cutting board for the dishwasher? Yes. Ready? Yes. Yeah. And these are all good to go? Uh-huh. Oh, Brody, they hurt. What about yeah. these little scraps in here, huh? Trash. They're just the butt. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's put some cheese on the top. And you, did you say yes on this cutting board in the dishwasher? Uh huh. Okay. You don't have to do those. Oh, no. I'm happy to help. We've got no up done today. Are you going to use this spoon and the spatula? Let me see. Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. Or we can just make the next one tomorrow. That's fine. Should we do that? Maybe yeah, that's we can fine. rest this afternoon. I don't want to rest. I don't want to rest. Quick fix. Another one tomorrow. What is left to do on your schedule? For the frozen meals? Yes. Um, well, I need to get more spinach to do another lasagna as well as my smoothie bags. Oh, and I oh, we have that fruit over at the other. Yeah. You need that too, right? Yeah. I have fruit here. I don't I would make sure that that fruit that you're talking about is not freezer burn. How do I do that? Open it and look at it. And if it's got ice crystals on it, dump it. Yeah, we, I'm sure we could find something else to do with it. But then, in, like in smoothies, particularly with like, or freezer burn fruit, it just like tastes kind of. Uh, yeah, it has that funky taste. Yeah. You're um, right about that. Yeah. So I want to do the smoothie bags. I'm going to make some of those pumpkin muffins. Maybe I'll do that. And um, I want to do okay, pumpkin muffins, smoothie bags, the veggie lasagna, and then the Mexican like enchilada bake right there. And then there's something else. So the next couple of days we'll get that knocked out. Yeah, it's no rush. And they're all fun things to make that they're I fun, enjoy fun, yeah. making. So we could do about the same time. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Right. That is fine. Can I'm you put this in the dishwasher? What? These? Yeah, okay. Um, I'm still figuring out what to make for dinner tonight. Why don't I... Um, oh gosh. What? what sounds good? I don't know. I think I'm gonna... I hate for you to cook dinner tonight. Why? It's his birthday. Have you been cooking? Oh well, sure. I made French toast this morning. Oh, that was so nice. Do you have something I can set to send a substance label off? No, James will do it. Oh, James will do it. He has, a, he has some way that he does it. I don't know. He always just does it. I ask the same thing if I can soak it in something and so just read it. These moments to just have gratitude for like the time. And I mean, I don't really have energy to be doing this right now, but that.